brilliant play there. It's a ridiculous back. Yeah, that's a great comeback for Killer Chris. Oh, no. Killer Chris, I'm going to LA. Yeah. Killer Chris, I'm going to with Killerfish Gun Elite first of all and see how they're going to do this originally. I'd love to see you guys at home what you're thinking. I'm sure the stream chat is full of your predictions. Uh, big fan base for both these teams. The German team Killerfish have actually recently come up through the scene. Not as big as prestigious name as Envy but certainly no less the challenge. Okay. See how these two teams are in fact going to do. I'm going to stick on board with I think Gun Elite to begin with. We're going to see how he does. MSMC, quick draw as he pushes into the middle. Actually going down the right-hand side first. Rox is going to engage first. Let's get on board with him. Got that cat boy. Now on the AN-94. Picks up, well, picks up two straight away. Ridiculous. And secures it. J-Cap actually got two back in reply. But they still have it. He's trying to pick it up. Gun Elite picking up another one. Rox currently on the half point himself. Picking up them early points as well. Looks like he's actually trying to... Can he pick up a third? He has. Playing brilliant at the moment. Rox got that first couple of kills. He's actually going to turn on someone. No! Gets taken down just in time. Gun Elite on board with him. He's contesting it now. He actually tries to turn. Doesn't Proofy picks up two. Let's jump on board with Proofy. He actually pick up his own teammate. Killing all that much hair trigger at the moment. Can he pick up the first? Doesn't actually. Quickly picks up two as Kivi and Rox also go down. It seems like a lot of team killing on at the moment. They're so fast and frantic they don't want to die. Rambo in the middle with his teammates. And they have actually got the good spawn. And they're now getting to points on the board. Go, picks up one there. He's actually jumping around pre-firing as well. Looks like they are defending this very well at the moment. And I do actually think we're going to see Killerfish try and break the spawn, but Envy at the moment have the anchor position. They have the better spawn, and I think this is going to be their hard point, unless Killerfish can do something spectacular here. Let's actually have a look at Rambo Ray uh, from Envy. Let's see how he's going to go into this now. There is two of them actually holding this anchor. They actually lose it. They need to hold this anchor with a good spawn. As the rest of Envy spawn across the map. Killerfish broke this so fast. You don't expect to see that. Let's have a quick look here. Quickly, goes down as well. Gun Elite. They have got it back, but they don't have the best spawn for it. They need to take that anchor position away from them so they don't lose it. Gun Elite gently doesn't want to... Oh, no. Rambo Ray comes out and takes it. Let's have a look at Rambo as he goes down as well. Curse of the Caster right there. Rocks in the area. Trying to dock out. Gets contested. Everybody is dying in this hardpoint. Desperately as Envy managed to take it back. And now they're actually going for a rotate. You can see both teams are aware that there's not an awful lot left. On board fight. with Proofies. He tries to push out now. Let's see what he can do. Gently pushing up with his teammates. They're going to come around this right-hand side. And both of them get taken down by Gun Elite. They have the angle position. And they're really taking it to Envy at the moment. They're a little bit behind at the moment. But they're in a good position to get some points back. Let's have a look. We are currently switching around. Just trying to find who's going to engage next. It is, of course... Kivy, we're going to jump on board with and see how he is in the hard point. Two players right outside there we can see in the picture and picture. And it looks like they are both just trying to get into this hard point. Control. And then they have the anchor. They have the numbers as well. So it wouldn't surprise me to see them build up a decent lead here unless Envy can do something to take them out. As Kivy goes down. On board with Gunner Lee. He also down. Quickie still got the anchor position. It looks like they're holding this fairly well at the moment. Not a lot of pressure coming towards this anchor. And they don't seem to want to push it. They seem to keep being trying to push towards that half point. Let's have a look. Let's get off of this guy. Back on board with Rocks. So I'm actually going to jump on board with some of the team here from Envy. There's a lot of kills going on. You can actually see there on your right hand side two streaks <laughs> pretty much across the board for the kill killerfish lineup. Let's have a quick look. And it looks like Gunner Lake's going to engage. He picks up one. Person behind him. Oh, doesn't get the turn on though. Kivi is still in this area. They have a good thing though. And we actually saw Envy do this before. If they can just outslay in this half point, they'll just quite happily take the points. And even though Killerfish have a better spawn, they'll just lock them out. And that seems to be what's happening at the moment. Now Kivi trying to get in. He's actually got the half point secured. Player's about to come through. Two through the front window. Picks up one. Can't pick up the second though. He gets taken down. Quiggy still on that anchor point. Rocks also picking up some kills. Rox is there, he's just trying to spray through, making sure they can't get in. And they still actually come around the corner there, picked up by his teammate. And can he pick this up? Yes, another kill for him. Quickie and Rox on streaks now. Quickie, there he is in the good position to defend this as well. As on this hard point, it does actually look like Killerfish have built up a formidable lead as we thought they would. They've held the spawn correctly the entire way through. Picked up another one. I think he actually just got his Hellstorm, he did. And that's going to be great when he needs to break a hard point open now. This is the best thing. He has a good spawn for this because now he's going to. What's going to happen is Killerfish are now going to hold the choke points that just a minute ago the other team was going to fight through. So they've had to fight through the choke points from both directions. There goes the smoke. Going to try and break it. I'm surprised he hasn't thrown his trophy system out actually. Could be useful. There you go. First one. 
trying to get that kill. Where did he go? Oh, behind him. Does actually take him out. And now, Envy, you've got to do something now. At the moment, Killerfish are beating them. Killerfish win this. They could actually go top of the group, which is not someone anyone expected. Everyone thought Envy were going to do serious damage here this weekend. So let's have a look. On board. Hopping on. Who's on the sticks? It is, of course, Jacob. And he gets taken down as well. Fast and Furious gameplay at the moment. Still on board with him. Let's go on board with K Rox as incoming. Oh, three streak there for him. Does take his own teammate down as well, though. Quickly on another streak himself. Looks like he's going to try and hold this middle area. And they are building up a good lead. It's 50 points. It's not the biggest lead. It's about a half point's worth. But it's good lead nonetheless. Especially since they've got the better spawn for the next half point. And that's what you really got to look for in this middle half point. The next spawn. I mean, you're not going to get the most amount of points off the middle. Simply because it is very easy to contest. Very easy to break in. But if you can hold it correctly for the next one, you're going to get yourself a better half point of gaining a lot of points on. And it does look like you can already see the battle for the angle position going on. As there we go, quickly keens it up. But you know what? They have the better spawn, they have the anchor, but Envy are currently in the half point. And there we go, quickly picks up one and actually takes back the half point for him. Almost get the turn on, but his teammate cleaned it up. Rocks currently going to look for that anchor position, hiding behind the red car. Nobody going to engage. Let's jump on board with someone else. Kibby picking up one. Looks like he's going to go in blue. Picks up Rambo as well. Two peaks from him. Can he pick up the third? We know he's in here. He, oh no, he misses it. They are trying to engage. Can he pick up the third? No! Three peaks, but gets shut down just at the last second. Steve Rock still on there, picking up another one. Five streak for him, holding down the anchor. And that's why Killerfish are winning right now. They just seem to be better on the anchors. They seem to flip the spawns better. And Envy are losing out every time because of that. They seem to be slaying heavily. Let's have a quick look at their scoreboard. Rock's 23 and 8. That is why they're holding this anchor position. He is, like I said, Rock is his name. Rock by nature. They cannot dig him out very easily. As you can see, seven kill streak for him alone. Incoming Hellstorm. He's determined to break this anchor position, which is, you know what, a good use for a Hellstorm. Only going to get one kill, but he's also got his lightning strike off of it. But if he can break that ankle, which I think he has done, it means he's going to get it. Unfortunately, take down. Proof he's there to shut down rocks eventually. On board with Killerfish. They have the better spawn. Now they're going to try and get in. Like, oh, well, lightning strike to break that open as well. Can he get in? He is. But he's got shot from behind. He's going to engage. No, taken down himself. Let's have a look at Jcap. Envy. Miles behind at the moment. 95, 96 to 176. Not looking good for them. They really need to start getting these hard points. These are two they could take it back on. They do have the anchor position as well. So a lot of points to get here. 30 from this one, 60 from the next one. We'll put them back in the lead if they can get every single one. Now, Jcap, all alone, doesn't really have the support. Someone about to come in from his left. Spray going in. He jumps out of the smoke. Doesn't pick it up, though. Stainville picking up a kill, but Kivy takes down Jcap. And let's have a look. Stainville, I think he was actually on the anchor. No, he wasn't on the anchor. It looks like he's actually just on a five-kill streak as well. Has these as... Score streaks. Now, if he needs to, he can use these to break anchor points, and they're going to have to if they take it again, because at the moment they cannot afford to give away that many points. So it does look like, oh, taken down there. And you know what? It does look like Envy have a chance of coming back in this. They have the good spawn, they have this hard point. 60 points, 50 points here will give them a little glimmer of hope. Jcap picking up two in the hard point again. Have a look. Rambo Ray taken down. Jcap still in there, using the cap 40, hiding behind the door. Smokes in at the moment. It looks like he's actually thrown out. That nade, he survived. Other nades reining in. Contested. He does actually get called. Kivy finds him. Takes him down as well. Kivy almost picked up the thing. Does pick up the three piece. But one of them was his own teammate. A lot of that going on in this hard point. Kivy still alive though. Very close to his next score streak. Contested. Doesn't get that kill as Rambo takes him down. So many kills. No one really going on a massive streak here. Let's have a quick look at this scoreboard again. As you can see, Rock's actually 28 and 15. Who else is doing well for their team? It does look like Rambo is doing well himself. Oh, taken down Jcap in the middle. But they're about to switch hard points. And then the score at the moment is 183 to 160. Envy coming back into this. Like I said, they needed that hard point and they got it. A lot of points hard there for point them. Identified. Now, does look like Killerfish has the middle. Have captured the hard point. Now, the last two men. You see, this hard down. point, it is important. They cannot let Killerfish get too much of a lead on it because it will be impossible to come back on the next one. They need to not only contest it or maybe get some points back, but also secure the last half point as well. And if they don't do that, it's going to be game over. At the moment, they're struggling. And it does look like Rambo Ray is in there trying desperately to kill all of them. Rambo cannot actually hold it down, though, as Killerfish get more points on the board. And this is the point. Oh, there we go. Incoming street there. Stainville now pushing in. They're trying to get the points. They don't have the good spawn either. They might have to rotate a little bit early, actually, on this one, just to try and secure that anchor position and make sure they get the points for the next one because if they don't, they're going to be in serious trouble. Now, they're picking up a lot of points here and that's going to put them back in, you know, in reach, easy reach of taking this game. They're still behind though. They can see, still on board with Stainville, picking up an incredible amount of points. You can see the rest of his team are in a good position. If they can take down this anger point, 
Oh no, who was that who just got that streak? Rox actually holding it down for his team. He has played so well and that might be a crucial kill as he holds the anchor. Going to pick up another kill, takes down Jacob. Oh, brilliant play from Rox there and that might have even given his team his win if they can hold this down. Killer Fist Rox, they need to hold this. It's so close at the moment, 194, 216. They're pouring in all four players of that team were in that half point. They're all in, can Rox do anything? No, he gets taken down. And that looks like they may have got that back 20 seconds. And no, that's it. It's game over. Killerfish have done just enough. What a ridiculous play from Rox there. I mean, if you watch what he actually did, you saw it on the minimap. He actually, there was two people that coming from either side to take him out of that anchor position. He took them both. Then he jumped up and he took down a third player. He held the anchor for long enough that Killerfish have taken the first map off of Envy. And that, my friends, is an upset in itself. You know what, Killerfish... You know what, they're a good team from Germany, but Envy were expected to, you know, like I said, easy top three this weekend, but already losing the Killerfish, <laughs> so the Europeans have actually uh, scored a little point there on the tally marker, 